Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. This time we look at kind of an odd little item, not a retail home video release by any means, but an odd little item that was spotted on eBay by fellow collector James Snow. And James really knows his sort of screeners and promotional materials and stuff like that. And uh, he ran across this, pointed me in its direction so I could pick it up and focus on it here in an episode of the show. But it's a little bit unusual and not something I've been able to check out the content of as I don't have a working beta player at this point. But something that I think is kind of neat even so, because it at least tell us what's on it. It is a promotional video for Revenge of the Jedi on beta. Just a standard sort of black beta case here. Company apparently is CFI. It gives its address in Hollywood and its phone number. But then it says 20th Century... I'm going to make sure you can see this. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, it says 20th Century Fox Film Promotional Material, Star Wars 1982 Reissue, Revenge of the Jedi, and Tijuana, whatever that is. See inside log, Betamax 2 copy, viewing, WD with the number here, and then the date of August 12, 1982. Inside is the actual beta cassette. Okay. This has the same information on it as the packaging. In fact, they probably just printed multiple copies of the stickers, put one on the uh, cassette, one on the case there. Not anything there on the side as far as a label would go or anything. Now, what is on it? Again, it includes, I can't believe this still included it, a piece of paper on the inside to tell you what it is. Uh, delightfully typed on a typewriter, it would appear. It says, promotional material. Star Wars 1982 re-release domestic slash local TV spot 1, 30 seconds. TV spot 2, 30 seconds. I'm trying to make it so I can read it and you can see it without the glare from the the window because I keep doing that a lot. Uh, I think I default to putting it on this side rather than this side and maybe this side would make it easier to see. Uh, Revenge of the Jedi, header trailer, minute 30 seconds, Tijuana, whatever that is, uh, domestic slash local TV spot one, TV spot two, 30 seconds for each of those there. But yes, a trailer for Revenge of the Jedi because it was far enough in advance of the film that it was back when that was the name that the film was going under uh, in the materials that were out there before, of course, for different reasons, depending on who you ask, Lucas changed it to Return. It was always meant to be, and Revenge was a red herring for uh, bootleg items, or maybe he decided that uh, Jedi don't seek revenge, so he's going to make it return, whatever. But Revenge of the Jedi. Had this just been Return of the Jedi, that would have been kind of neat in and of itself. But to actually have an official item relating to the marketing of Return of the Jedi that is like an internal, like this is this is where the promotional spots are kind of thing. Um, to have something like that that actually still marks it as Revenge of the Jedi, that isn't just a recreation of something after the fact, but something contemporary from the time that says Revenge of the Jedi, I thought that was pretty sweet and too good to pass up here. So all it is is trailers and TV spots. I can't even watch them because I don't have a working beta player at this point, but pretty sweet to see Revenge of the Jedi on anything out there that can be added to a Star Wars home video collection. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and thanks to James for pointing this out. May the Force be with the home video viewers.